What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and welcome back to another edition of Ask the Buffalo where you can ask me anything you want, tech, personal, or somewhere in between. You could ask a question, we put a post up on the site, or you could use Twitter with the hashtag AskTheBee. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to see me glance this direction, I'm going to read questions live and I'm going to answer the questions live. None of them are pre-prepared, or at least it's live for me. I guess every video is probably live for me since I'm filming it, but there's no scripted business here. I'm going to answer all your questions right off the top of my head. And I'm going to watch the clock because I do sometimes like to hear myself talk and I can let these Ask the Buffalo videos get like 45 minutes long and I know you guys will get bored with that. So. Let's get started. All right, the first question comes from Techno Buffalo. The post. This is from Matthew Stofukis. Is the Pre Three keyboard better than the Torches? Uh, well, Matthew, at the Palm event, they let us hold the Pre Three and use the keyboard on the Pre Three, but they had to actually hold it while we were holding it. So I didn't get a chance to use the keyboard as much as I would have liked. I will tell you my first impressions that it felt very good. Uh, the keyboard on the Torch, I think, is absolutely outstanding as well. Uh, I'm inclined to believe that the Torch keyboard is probably going to be a little bit better uh, than the Pre 3, but that has yet to be seen. So, I don't know. Alright, next, let's jump over to Twitter with the hashtag AskTheB. This is from XLucaJX. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um, it's actually one of my earliest memories. I don't know how old I was, but I was probably like this big. You can't see my hands, but. This, I was probably this big. Uh, my parents had a little swing set out in the backyard. I distinctly remember wearing a green Izod, you know, with the little alligator thing. Oh, I think it was called something else back then. Um, polo shirt and playing on a swing set with my dad and grandfather just running around and having, having a fun time. Uh, that is definitely my best memory from my childhood. If you don't know this about me, um, I look up to my dad a tremendous amount. My dad is, is my hero. So I, am, I love the time that I get to spend with him and still get to spend with him, uh, fortunately enough. So let's go ahead and jump on back to the website. Uh, do you think Apple will be making a mini iPad this year for this Apple Music event? No. No. Don't even think it. Uh, I don't think we're going to see an iPad mini or anything. I think the iPad mini is called the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Uh, I think the 10 odd inches that we've got right now is probably what we're going to see for uh, iPad sizes for quite a while. Alright, let's go back to Twitter. I'm going to jump around. Uh, this one's going to go to Nicholas Leone. What's time, I think, what time of phone do you use? I think he's trying to say what type of phone do you use? Uh, depending on my feeling of the day, uh, I go back and forth between actually what I've got in my pocket right now. Uh, the iPhone 4, this is the red one uh, that got converted, and a HTC Inspire, I refuse to call it uh, 4G. Uh, I've used the Inspire and I've used the Atrix. I like the bigger feel of the Inspire and I don't like Modal Blur. Uh, I know that there are third party stuff you can put on it, but I just happen to like the Inspire. So when I feel like I want to go Android, that's what I'm rocking. When I feel like I want to switch back to Apple, uh, this is the phone that I use. So I switch between uh, both of those. Probably about 50-52. Generally, I'll use the iPhone on the weekends. Uh, during the week, I will use Android. Uh, okay, so let's go jump back to the website and pick another question. When do you think the iPhone 5 will come out? And that one's from Mark Phillips. Uh, well, Mark, there's been a lot of rumors of delays, but those are just rumors on rumors. Uh, no one knows anything until Apple announces it. Uh, a delay, I guess, of sorts, so varying from the June release cycle, would make sense. I think it would unify the release cycle of the CDMA and the GSM iPhone. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Verizon iPhone came out in February. Uh, the iPhone 4 was released the previous June. So there's a big gap right there. I think if Apple were to release an iPhone 5 in June, the folks who bought the CDMA iPhone, which I believe accounts for 4% of, uh, uh, of iPhone users, would probably be a bit upset that their phone was obsolete in a shorter uh, period. So 
I don't know. Nobody but Apple knows. If anybody tells you they know, they are lying to you. And don't let them lie to you. Uh, all right, let's switch back to Twitter. Let's jump around to Kevin Wynn. Since phones these days have many gigabytes of memory, do you think in the near future, 10 to 20 years, we'll see as much as a terabyte? Um, it would make sense. It's sort of a Moore's Law of storage, I guess, that we're going to keep seeing bigger and bigger phones of so 10, 20 years. Uh, yeah, I do um, think so. Uh, when should we expect, this is from Steve Clare, when should we expect a John Ford Lakers Jr.? Um, I don't know. Uh, my wife and I, I don't know if she'd want me talking about this, but I will. Uh, we've talked about having kids maybe in like two or three years. Uh, I'm 30 right now, and we just got married in August, so we're sort of enjoying our time together. And then, you know, we'll think about kids in a few years. We both definitely want them, but... Not right this second. I can barely take care of myself. Um, in all honesty, the idea of having kids is kind of frightening to me right now. But I assume I'm not alone on that. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and jump back to the website. What's your opinion on jailbreaking? Is it worth it? From Vaney Rooster. Um, <laughs> that's a funny name. Um, I forgot what his question was. Jailbreaking. Do you think it's worth it? Uh, it depends what you need the phone for. Uh, or whether or not you want to live outside of Apple's ecosystem. Uh, jailbreaking is extremely easy to do. Uh, if you want things like a better notification system, if you want home screen notifications, the things that I keep talking about like a broken record over and over again, then by all means jailbreak. Um, simple, I don't have any problem with it, it's legal to do. Um, I feel like if you own the phone, you also own the software behind it. Um, I don't jailbreak. Um, for the big reason that I generally use my iPhone for comparison purposes with other devices. Uh, I like to sort of keep things on an even playing field. So if you were to get a, an iPhone, you want to see how it looks against the Inspire. I want to make sure that my phone is uh, as intended from the factory, so at least it's a very fair match. Otherwise, I get slammed in the comments being like, not fair, jailbroken phone. Uh, and I do read the comments. So that's why I haven't jailbroken, if that helps answer your question. Um, all right, let's hear a few more. I don't know how long this video is getting. Uh, I got bad eyesight. I can't see the counter. <laughs> um, all right, should I get the iPad 2 or wait for the 3? It's from Same Difference 9. Uh, dude, I can't answer that for you. The iPad 2 just came out. Um, if you want a tablet, I would go for the iPad 2. Uh, what I generally tell people, and not just Apple, but tech in general, um, a good way if you feel the need to upgrade, and certainly there's no need to upgrade and just spend money, um, but if you do sort of feel that itch and desire and you have the means, a good way to go is to sell your last generation hardware uh, a month or so before the release or expected release of the new device. So iPad 2 came out last month. Uh, January would have been an awesome time to sell your iPad 1 and you could use that money for the next generation device. Just a bit of advice. Actually, as a side story, before I got into tech reviewing, uh, I used to try and buy cell phones at auction. This is how big a nerd I was. I loved cell phones. I've always loved cell phones. Uh, and I always wanted to sort of try the latest tech, which is why my job is so awesome when I wake up with a massive smile on my face. Um, but I couldn't really afford to get all the phones that I wanted to try. So I would buy them on eBay from overseas, and then I would sell I'd use them for like a few weeks, and then I'd sell them on, uh, on Craigslist. So you know, there are ways to sort of try and use the tools that you have available. All right, I'll go ahead and try and answer two more questions. Uh, we'll take this next one from Twitter. Uh, let's go to, if you could build the perfect smartphone, what features would it have? Scarboy6693. Uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, well, I think that I would take the elegance of iOS I think I would take the flexibility of Android. I think I would take the multitasking from WebOS. And I would take the BlackBerry Messenger BBM from BlackBerry. Mash that all together to get an awesome smartphone. Uh, I would like to have my choice of screen size, so I would probably like a 4.3 inch screen uh, with perhaps a physical keyboard. I don't know, it depends what mood I'm in. I like the option of having a physical and on-screen keyboard. Those would probably be my big choices. And that's really breaks down my 
thoughts on Android and iOS. I love the elegance of iOS. I love that I can do whatever I want with Android and I can make it look and feel um, however I like. And that's sometimes why I jump on back to the Inspire. Uh, all right, let's go to ask the Buffalo question on the site. We've got a question from Kyle Brisky. Kyle says, do you think Apple will try to implement 3D on their iPhones? I hope not. I think this whole stereoscopic 3D thing is a joke. Um, maybe I have old eyes, but it kills my eyes. I don't think the 3D effect is worth it at all. I don't need to see the little dude look like he's coming at me. Uh, 2D is fine with me, and I'd rather not hurt my eyes or have the eye strain. So I hope we don't go 3D, although the trend is everybody's going 3D, so certainly we'll see Apple probably jump on that bandwagon um, at least one more time. Uh, all right, so let's ask one more question, because I, I could probably do this for like six hours. Uh, I love talking to you guys. I just re I really do um, like it. Um, Alright, what's the best way to get subscriptions on a tech channel? This is from Reveling Tech. Uh, that was from Twitter. Uh, the best way is to find your own style um, and to show some personality in your videos. Uh, don't try and copy, you know, don't try and copy Mark, don't try and copy Chris Perillo. Uh, Chilla Frilla, Ty's iPhone help or me. Uh, try and find your own style. We all have our own uh, sort of way that we do things. Um, and that sort of works for us and the audience responds well to that. Find your own thing. Don't try and use anybody else's voice. I guess that's good advice for life in general. Find, find your voice! I'm like an after school special. Um, or an episode of, I don't know, what has, like the Brady Bunch. When I'm gonna date myself. Um, all right, this one really will be the last one. Uh, let's go to Brett Ostek. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Obviously, other than yourself. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I watch a lot of tech videos because um, I like tech and I enjoy watching tech uh, in general. Uh, but my favorite YouTubers, the guys that I look forward to seeing videos every day, uh, I love the Vlog Brothers. I think they are outstanding. I think they're intellectual and funny, and they have heart and they care about causes. Uh, so I love watching them. I love the college humor videos as well. They always um, make me laugh. And you know, what? I'll actually go into my subscriptions and I will see who I got there, and I'll tell you who my favorite are. My wife, I know, loves uh, Michael Buckley from What the Buck. She gets super excited. Um, whenever he posts videos. I also love James Nintendo Nerd. Uh, I forgot about him. Uh, the angry video game nerd. He is awesome. Uh, definitely check him out. So guys, I could talk forever, but this video is going to get to be 90 minutes long. Um, I hope you enjoyed Ask the Buffalo, um, and you've got a chance to ask me the Buffalo. Um, I am a Buffalo, like Tatanka. I'll see you in the next video.